Tokyo isn't just a city, it's a food lover's dream where every dish feels like it was made to ruin all other food for you. Think Totoro-shaped cream puffs so cute they could double as emotional support snacks, shaved ice creations that make your local snow cone look like a sad puddle, and hamburger steaks that come with so much rice you might consider moving in. In this guide, I'll take you through five incredible spots that made my taste buds do a standing ovation. You'll experience matcha desserts that redefine dessert goals, grill your own jukatsu like a chef, or at least pretend you know what you're doing, and see why Tokyo might just be the world's food capital. I've left links below for each location because if I can't stop thinking about these places, why should you? Let's get started. It's time to eat like your diet starts tomorrow. Say goodbye to self-control and see why Tokyo's food game is truly unmatched. First stop, Shiro Haige's Cream Puff Factory in Setagaya slash Shimokitazawa. Imagine stepping into the world of my neighbor Totoro, but instead of adorable forest spirits you're greeted with edible Totoros. Yes, you heard me, edible Totoros. This cozy cafe is run by none other than Hayao Miyazaki's sister-in-law, which is why it's officially Studio Ghibli approved. The cream puffs are 500 yen each and let me tell you, they're so cute that biting into one feels borderline criminal. It's like staring down Totoro's innocent little eyes and saying sorry buddy, it's not you, it's my sweet tooth. Flavors include custard, chocolate, and caramel banana. My friends and I tried all three, and while they were equally delicious, the caramel banana stole the show. But honestly the hardest part was taking a picture. We spent 15 minutes adjusting lighting and angles to capture these adorable pastries from their best side. You'd think we were photographing supermodels not cream puffs. Pro tip! Make a reservation online, these Totoros are in high demand and you don't want to miss out. The cozy interior, warm service and magical vibe make this a must-visit for Ghibli fans and dessert lovers alike. Next up shaved ice but make it fancy. Parlor Vinefru Ginza takes the humble kakigori, Japanese shaved ice, and turns it into a Michelin star level dessert. This spot has crafted over 400 types of shaved ice, including mochi, sake, and even savory versions. I tried their signature creation topped with fluffy espuma sauce, and let me just say, it was like eating a cloud that went to culinary school. My friend opted for their sake-infused version, and while I was worried about getting carded for dessert, it had a sophisticated, boozy edge that blew us away. Here's the kicker. This isn't just dessert, it's an experience. The textures, the balance of sweetness and saltiness, and the sheer creativity are unmatched. If you're not a shaved ice fan yet, this place will convert you, and if you already are, welcome to paradise. From delicate desserts we jump to meaty heaven. Hikiniku to come in Shibuya serves a three hamburger steak set that redefines the phrase bang for your buck. Here's the deal. You get three juicy 90-gram hamburger steaks, unlimited freshly cooked rice, miso soup, condiments, pickles, and even a raw egg. The chef recommends eating each steak differently. The first, go au naturel, just bite into it and savor the smoky charcoal grilled flavor. It's juicy, flavorful, and honestly, I almost shed a tear. The second steak, top it with grated radish and ponzu. The tangy refreshing kick is so good it'll make you want to slap your chopsticks down in triumph. For the third steak, things get wild with tamago cake gohan, egg over rice. Dip the steak into the beaten raw egg or pour the egg over your rice soaked in meat juices. Either way, it's a flavor explosion. Every element, from the freshly ground beef to the just cooked rice, follows their three justs philosophy, just ground, just grilled, just cooked, and just plain amazing. Ever wanted to grill your own beef cutlets on a stone plate? Gyukatsu Motomura lets you live that dream. Their gyukatsu is lightly breaded, fried to a perfect medium rare, and served with condiments like mountain wasabi, soy sauce, and rock salt. Here's how it works. You grill the thin slices on your personal stone plate, then choose your condiment. The mountain wasabi adds a spicy kick, while the rock salt keeps it simple and lets the beef shine. Honestly, this isn't just a meal, it's a ritual. Despite being fried, the jukatsu is light, crisp, and incredibly tender. The homemade wasabi sauce was my personal favorite. It's the kind of flavor that makes you question everything you thought you knew about beef. This is a spot where Japanese tradition and modern dining collide in the most delicious way possible.
Finally, dessert round two. Chacha Futatsume in Asakusa is famous for its matcha noodle ice cream. And no, that's not a typo. This dessert is a visual masterpiece, featuring soft, creamy matcha ice cream topped with matcha-infused chestnut paste swirled into noodle-like shapes. It's a pricey treat at 1200 yen, but the flavor justifies the splurge. The bitterness of the matcha balances perfectly with the sweetness of the chestnut paste, while the noodles add a fun, chewy texture. If you're a matcha lover, this will send your taste buds to heaven. The shop itself is small but charming and everything is made fresh with high-quality ingredients. Besides the iconic noodle ice cream, they offer matcha cakes, cookies, and lattes, all equally delightful. If you're in Asakusa, do yourself a favor and stop by. Tokyo's food scene is like a roller coaster for your taste buds. Thrilling, unexpected, and absolutely worth the ride. From Totoro-themed desserts to beef cutlets you grill yourself, every stop on this tour offers something unique. So grab your appetite and your camera and let Tokyo blow your tongue off.